For what purpose does the gentleman from Virginia seek recognition? Does the gentleman offer the amendment? Clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 23, printed in House Report number 113-170, offered by Mr. Moran of Virginia. Pursuant to House Resolution 312, the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Moran, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I will yield myself uh, three minutes to begin with. Mr. Chairman, the political and legal expediency of the detention center at Guantanamo, Cuba, has not been worth the cost to America's reputation around the world, nor to the erosion of our legal and ethical standards here at home. My amendment would enable the U.S. military to transfer or release the detainees who have been cleared by the intelligence community and the Joint Chiefs of Staff to their home countries and bring those not cleared for release to the United States to be charged, tried, and sentenced. Those who advocate the continuance of Guantanamo don't seem to realize that so many of the prisoners still held at Guantanamo were in fact wrongly captured. The majority never engaged in hostile actions against the United States or its allies. But the, the fact is that we know today Guantanamo continues to serve as a rallying cry for extremists around the world. And until we transfer and try the detainees, there is no denying that Guantanamo is hurting our national security. We need to reevaluate our approach to the long-term threat of terrorism and realize that policies that mock the concept of equal justice under the law and that undermine our respect for human rights make it more likely rather than less likely that we will be attacked again. How can we expect Americans held captive abroad to be accorded the right to be sentenced and brought to trial when we hold 166 prisoners in Guantanamo without charge and without trial? 86% of the Guantanamo detainees were captured in exchange for a bounty, in many cases a very large bounty that represented a whole year's pay for the people turning them in. The majority of them, as I say, have never committed hostile acts against the U.S. or its coalition allies, and yet they have been held for more than 12 years without charge. My colleagues like to argue that detaining or trying suspected terrorists in the U.S. would endanger national security, but that's simply not true. More than 400 defendants charged with terrorism crimes have been successfully convicted in the United States since 9-11 including a former Gitmo detainee who was tried in New York City, the Times Square bomber, the shoe bomber, Zacharias Musawi, who conspired to kill innocent Americans on 9-11. They've all been charged. They've all been tried. They've all been convicted. All of them here in the United States, and no security incidents. More than 300 individuals convicted of crimes of international terrorism are today incarcerated in 98 federal prisons within the United States with no escapes or attacks and attempts to free them. There are six Department of Defense facilities where Guantanamo detainees could be held in the United States that are currently only at 48 percent capacity. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'll yield myself another minute. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Uh, now, it should be said in the context of an appropriations bill how expensive it is to keep Guantanamo open. We're currently spending $1.6 million per detainee compared to $34,000 per inmate at a high-security federal prison here in the United States. And in the defense authorization, we just provided another $260 million in operations costs and another $186 million for construction to continue this temporary facility, almost half a billion dollars. This does not make sense. And now we've got the hunger strikes because people see no future ahead of them. They're afraid that they'll be jailed indefinitely for charges that they, ha that they can't even defend because they haven't even been given. That's not who we are as a nation. We're a nation of law. We're a nation of respect for human life. But to hold these detainees, and in some cases, 46 of them are being tube fed, strapped down for hours while a tube is inserted down their nose, that's not, we do, not what we do. So let's stop it. 
Let's quote down Guantanamo and do the right thing. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this, I'll yield a, uh, uh, unless the, uh, the other side wants to speak, uh, I can retain the value. Does the gentleman reserve or does the gentleman I'll reserve yield? My